Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow. <laughs> she was just getting some serious belly rubs. Like fall asleep belly rubs. We got a big old box that we were supposed to get tomorrow, today. I don't have to rip it up some. He is rocking and rolling and rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. But and rocking and rolling. Today's more of like debugging the bulk of it. Like 80% of it was done yesterday, and then now it's like make things fancy and clean up some things. So basically, I, mean, I can't like go too much into detail about it, but it's making, it's like checking our company's inventory against another company's inventory and making sure everything's good and everything. And so now it's like actually rocking and rolling, but now like we were supposed to leave like 30 minutes ago almost. <laughs> so it's like you're almost ready. Can I'm you like, tell he's proud? I just want to go, but like I still, I have to get, it's almost two. Mm -hmm. I have to be done by like 10 o'clock, 10.30 really the latest. But I want to do this other stuff, so like I also don't have all the time in the world. Yeah. But we also have a week and like two days before I go on vacation, so yeah. I just need enough time to train somebody. Multiple but it's like people the, on my team. The bulk of the work, though, you really kicked butt on. Yeah. Okay, let's go to IKEA. We're doing a classic Peter and Sarah run around two impossible whoppers with no mayo, and then. I don't know if you can see the golden arches up there, but we're getting french fries <laughs> and Cokes from McDonald's because it's just worth the two stops. They are not only hot, but full to the brim. It's a good day. Ooh, nice technique. Did you know that Peter, Peter eats his fries first before, he doesn't eat like his burger with his fries, he eats all of his fries first. Well, we're back here again. I'll be honest, it looks busier here than it has at Disney Springs or Magic Kingdom. Seriously, we had to like <laughs> really drive around for a spot. We Luckily parked, we know exactly where we're going. Yeah, we parked other in the corner and like Sarah said, we're not perusing today because I need to be working on work. We're just going and getting some frames and curtain rod. Quick, easy, but very crowded trip. We got our pull, we're going to get frames and we're out of here. Frames, we haven't even talked about what we're framing. Something that hasn't been up in the entirety of us vlogging. They were up at our other apartment, our last Chicago apartment. But we weren't vlogging them besides Vlogmas. Yeah. So, that's fun. Teamwork makes the dream work. Is it fit? Yeah. Oh, thank gosh. Look at our luxurious green velvet curtains. Steve's uncertain. Our bed's right there. I'm putting the anchors up there for the curtain rod because we're going to put that up first. And then. Right here, okay. and right there is the bed frame that arrived, and then I need to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah, there's going to be a lot of curtain on that. Looking at this, yeah. it's going to be very we luxurious. Four panels. Gravity will loosen that up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I don't even think we could take an iron to that because it's felt. I think we could take a steamer to it, but we don't have yeah, a steamer. Yeah, it said online how to do it, but hey, all Kate, of all of the like reviews said that it just like fell. Okay. And it's also kind of. And we're gonna have a bunchy. Yeah. Because we have four panels that are going on that. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Okay. Ears escape. Oh, they're dark. Alrighty. First step of the day done. Peter's gonna do this while I frame some sheet music. So for our first wedding anniversary that's like the paper anniversary Peter and I actually both framed sheet music for each other um, and the idea was that we would have like nine pieces in a grid like a three by three above our bed um, and it happened at our our apartment our last apartment that we had in Chicago but the color of the room was kind of crazy there was actually a striped painted wall Where did Working like crazy. Santa's workshop been doing such a good job at hiding our. our Let's just get it up. Wall. Let's just get it out of the way. <laughs> this is our striped wall. Now we are renting from like a family friend. He, they offered to paint the walls 
white before we moved in. We're like, no, it's fine. We'll take care of it. We've been in here like what seven months, five months now. Yeah, we've been here five months now. We're like, we'll we'll paint it because some of the rooms we like, some of them we don't mind. We like to fix. We want to fix these silver stripes. We just haven't yet. And then we just never had the place to put it in any of our other apartments. And um, even in our room that we just had, we planned on incorporating them. But again, we put like the bed on the angle and it just never ended up working. But now that we're in this room, I had the idea of just putting three on each side of the bed um, with the curtains as like the backdrop of the bed, the like the headboard almost. Um, and on one side, we're gonna have the sheet music to Constantine by Something Corporate. That's been our song before we were even dating. And then um, La Vie and Rose is gonna be on the other side, which was our first dance. We also had The Luckiest by Ben Folds, which is not About Time, um, which we love, but that was kind of like more symbolic of that time in our life, like our one year wedding anniversary. And so we chose Constantine and Levy and Rose um, because they've always been like constant, important parts of our relationship. So we already have that printed from all those years ago and that's why we bought the frames today. And so while Peter puts together the bed, I am going to put the sheet music into frames. We realized I put the curtain on upside down. Like there's a, a three inch pocket on the bottom. I just saw the pocket. I don't know how I didn't, I, I did it the same way three times. I don't think it looks bad. Might have to do a little bit of straightening at the top because it is tight, but I don't know if it's worth flipping them. <laughs> Maybe someday I will, but not today. So you have to try this. These attaching this way is one of like the most satisfying things. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even run, and I'm exhausted. I just put on that new Zac Efron Netflix, and I'm working. I'm done putting the bed back together. I'm hopping back into coding. It's 6:10 right now, and at 7:30ish, I'm gonna go hang this up on the walls so I'm not banging real late for our neighbor's sake. So, finish the bed and the curtains, I'm gonna dive right back into the work. Um, I don't know if it's possible for me to be 100% done tonight, but I'm definitely done, accomplished enough already, I know I'm gonna be able to knock out a few more things tonight that um, we're like 80% there, and then I'll be able to incorporate development time over the next couple, two, three, four days. Um, so that'll be good. I like my program, it's cool. It, it At a bare minimum, it saves me like an hour right now. If I stopped working right now, it saves me about an hour to hour and a half of work every single day. So that's already five to seven and a half hours of my work week automated. I don't have to worry about it. I can hit run. It only takes about 10 minutes to run in the background, but I can be doing a few other things in those 10 minutes. Um, so that is amazing. Here's my little sous chef. So I'm making Asian Brussels sprout tacos for dinner tonight. I did like half a bag of Brussels sprouts, half an onion, a full tomato, salt, pepper, garlic, ginger. Well, first I did olive oil and then some nutritional yeast on top and I'm gonna bake it for as long as it takes to get really crispy at um, 450 degrees. So for a side, we're having just plain white rice with soy sauce. That's one of my favorite things, just plain white rice with soy sauce. Um, and then I also made two different toppings for the tacos. Here is a carrot jalapeno like slaw. Um, it's sweet and spicy. Obviously the jalapenos are, are gonna be spicy. I just shaved the 
carrots and cut the jalapenos really thin. Um, and then in there is rice, wine vinegar, a little bit of agave nectar, and salt, garlic. And then this is a peanut sauce where I use like probably two tablespoons worth of peanut butter, some soy sauce. I used a whole lime um, for the juice. It's really limey. I would probably only suggest using like half a lime and using some water. I did use a tiny bit of water. Um, this is the first time I've gotten a really good consistency. I usually accidentally am um, heavy on the water. So the tiniest bit of water um, and then a ton of ginger. It's like a citrus ginger peanut sauce. So both of those will go on top of the tacos. Guys, I let the Brussels sprouts go too long. They're very crispy. They probably were in there for like 30, 40 minutes. I checked them at 20. I knew that it needed a little bit longer, but I totally just forgot. They'll still be edible, but they are. Yeah. Ooh, crispy, crispy, crispy. Alrighty, I fried up some corn tortillas. I'll show you how they look already on the plate. Sarah just finished setting me up. It looks delicious. Got some, is it a peanut sauce? Mm -hmm. Ooh. And some delicious looking veggies. And I smell all kinds of seasonings and amazingness. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. It's time to hang the sheet music. Well, let's start to <laughs> start breaking all the frames. Well, this is plastic, so Ooh. I don't even know if it's going to break in. We're going to do three over there, three over there. What I love so much about our new room look vibe situation is that like it's very much so my style like I feel like I've always worn dresses with boots or like more masculine jackets and like other feminine accessories and so I feel like it's like a very me setup where our bed is very floral and pink, but it goes really well with the darker colors um, and the textures and all of that, like a really good contrast between the two. So this is like finally, I mean, in our five years of marriage, like finally, like a room that I'm really, really, really proud of. Are you so happy for your new room? And the bed is kind of like shorter. And so you can get up on it. You are a good girl. Alrighty, we got this hung up, we got the hats hung up, and the main event. Love it. It actually, I feel like it makes the room look bigger. Is that weird? It does, yeah. It makes it, right now, to me, it feels like a hotel. <laughs> because, like, we've never, we've been talking about getting curtains uh -huh. since we got married. We've been talking about getting a new bed frame since we got yeah. married. Like, like, the white wing had, thank you, Bugs, but, like, that was, has, was always just like, oh, let's take that because we don't have one. Yeah. And then and we'll use this until we get one. Yeah. And these used to be hung up in our old apartment. Yeah. We've been missing them. Yeah. And we have some side tables coming. Tuesday. Tuesday. They're just like brass with the glass top, brown, skinny. Because we're going to have um. eventually some sort of... Why can't I think Bassinet. of it? Bassinet there. The um, only thing we don't have, like once the tables get here, it'll be 98% complete and then our room has mm -hmm. never been yes. quote unquote complete. Yeah. We're gonna get a plant here, like a bigger yeah, palm a bigger or something. Yeah, bigger palmy tree. We just gotta make sure it can I was survive. thinking maybe to get like a hangy plant here. I don't know, let's wait until we, well remember there's gonna be a lot going on over there with the side yeah, table and the bassinet. True. I'm gonna have a side table with Eve's blanket over here so it's like busy over here, busy over there. Yeah. I think like we need just kind of like how with with James's room we have to wait until we get the crib and the chair in there to make like a side table call there or our arrangements. We have to wait till those pieces come to make those. I don't think we need. I think we need to wait till we have the side tables. Yeah. Before making more calls. Yep. And then my this is my bouquet from my from our wedding. We actually just got two frames that we're gonna put there that we're gonna put ultrasounds of sweet pea. Oh, we're hanging those up. Um. Yes, but I don't have, I'm going to have to like resize them for it and then we're going to switch this embryo out to our very first embryo um, that simply just didn't catch, but this is Sweet Pea, so we're going to put Sweet Pea on the wall instead. Check it out. I just did some cleaning up. Sarah's been in chit-chat with her mom. I have my automation going. Zach Efron show on Netflix. 
Just made some tea for Sarah and myself. Did the dishes, cleaned up while the automation was going. And now I'm just kind of winding down as the weekend comes to an end. Feel good. Very productive weekend. I just keep thinking about that vacation coming up with 100% relaxation. Dairy to take a bite. It smells like straight Christmas. Those are good, right? Guys, we're a sucker. You need enough of those? James will come late and he'll be a Christmas baby. <laughs> we are total suckers for basically anything in the lanes at a grocery store. Like your impulse buy area, but especially Ikea. Look at Evie looking at you. Peter just found a little issue with his work. Um, his like every night work thing that he does. So we'll see if we're going to bed just yet, but I will do the sign off. Let's make better mistakes tomorrow, Anonymous. We're all good, we're going to bed. It was such a strange weekend. I feel like we went to Magic Kingdom and then the weekend ended. It feels like yesterday was Monday. It's, it's just, it was just a weird one. Which means this week is gonna be even more weird. <laughs> We got lots of checkpoints though, so. Yes. Hopefully Starting with our chair tomorrow. <laughs> yes. And then our sign tables on Tuesday. Oh my goodness. And I have acupuncture and my glucose test. Glucose test was Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, friends. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Let's see how Eve likes sleeping in this new bed frame. Oh, she's tired. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.